This video is going to look at how you can verify that a static method has been called using the Mokito and PowerMock libraries. If you're new to this channel, I create wiki tutorials just like this one on technologies such as Java and Angular, so please subscribe if you're interested to see more. So we're going to take a look at a pretty unique test that involves verifying that a static method has been called. Uh, in a previous video, which I will add the card to in the top right, I've looked at how we can use Mokito Verify to assert that certain methods have been called, uh, how many times that they've been invoked, and also the arguments that they have received. Uh, so in this video, uh, we're slightly extending upon that uh, to include these static methods. So let's take a look at a class that we'll be testing. It's called mail person, and it has just one method called deliver mail, and it will accept an address as a string. If the address contains ABC, the mail person will use the send method from the mail engine class. And the mail engine is a class that is being passed in through the constructor. However, if the address contains ABD, it will use the send mail to ABD method of the mail engine class instead. So the mail engine class contains two methods. We have send, which will print out send non-static, and that's just for us to see. And we also have a static method, which will print out static sending to ABD. So what we want to achieve in this video is to verify that when we pass in an address that contains ABD, that the send mail to ABD method has been called but before I write the test, I'm going to quickly run over our dependencies and to also write a test for the ABC method just to refresh our minds about Makito Verify. So in our POM XML file, I have two dependencies, the PowerMock module, JUnit4, and the PowerMock API Mokito 2 dependencies in version 2.0.2. Uh, we'll understand in just a moment why we need these two. Uh, I have also left a link to the source code in the description for you to check out. So let's head into our mail person test class. And I'm going to first write a test using Mokito Verify for the send method. So I'm going to define a mock instance of the mail engine and then pass that into an instance of the mail person. Next, I'm going to call the deliver mail method, passing in an address of ABC. So if we head into the mail person method, we will expect the first if condition to return true. And then back in the mail person test class, I can call verify, passing in the mail engine mock, and then the dot send method. So I'm just going to quickly run this. And we can see it passing. If I change the address to ABDC and rerun the test, we can see that it's failing because that send method is never called. Okay, so your first thought might be that we can simply change the address to ABD and then verify that the send mail to ABD method has been called. And this will verify that the static method has been called. So if I make the changes, we can see the code compile. Uh, so far, so good. If I run the test, we can see it pass. And in the console output, however, we can see that static sending to ABD has been printed twice. So that's because our verify method isn't actually verifying the static method being called. It's actually just calling it. If I change the address to ABAD, we would expect this test to fail as send mail to ABD will not be called. And instead what we can see is that it's still passing. So what we have printed is invalid address as neither of the if statements are true. And then the static sending to ABD is called because the verify assertion is not verifying any calls, but it's instead it's just calling that method itself. So this isn't actually testing the static method as we would like. So I'm going to add a new test for verifying our static method is being called. Before we do this, I will need to use the PowerMock library and to instruct our test class with two annotations at the top. 
So first I will tell our test class that it will be used to mock static methods. Uh, it would also be used amongst many other supported types of power mocks such as final classes. And we're going to do that with the run with annotation passing in the power mock runner class. This annotation comes from our power mock module JUnit4 package as we earlier saw in the POM XML file. The remaining methods and annotations come from the PowerMock API Mockito 2 package. So next I will add the prepare for test annotation and this will be taking in the mail engine class and this annotation will instruct PowerMock to prepare this class for bytecode manipulation and that will enable us to assert against the static methods which is something we haven't been able to do as we saw earlier in this video. And then within our test, I will enable static mocking on our class by calling power mockito mock static method, passing in that mail engine class again. I will then create a new mail person instance, passing in a new mail engine instance for an argument. And then I'm going to call the deliver mail method with ABD. So our expectation now is that the send mail to ABD method will be called. So we can assert upon this by first telling Power Mokito to verify a static method. So we can assert upon this by first telling Power Mokito to verify a static method. And this will accept two arguments. First, it will be the class that is being mocked. And then the number of times the method will be called. Then on the line below, I will reference the static method that is being verified. So I'm just going to run over that one more time to make it clear. So we add run with annotation to tell this class it will be mocking with power mock. We prepare for test the mail engine to tell the class it will be mocking this class with power mock. Then in the test method, we perform the mocking of the class. We call the deliver method with ABZ and then to verify that our method has been called, we have two steps. So first to mention the class and the number of times it's going to be invoked. And then the second step is to specify the static method that is actually being invoked. Now, if I run the test, we can see that it's passing. And if I change the address to ABAD, we can see the method fail. And if I change the number of invocations to two, we can see it fail one more time. So that concludes our video on how you can use PowerMock to verify that a static method has been called. Once again, please check out the link in the description to the source code so you can try it out for yourself.